Well, good morning YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. So it was a pretty gray morning this morning. The sun is starting to show up and the skies are clearing and that means it's gonna get hot and it's already quite humid. So today we're gonna get back to that comparison between the A60 and the E9 Guard Pro cameras. So they've been sitting up there for a week now uh, you might remember from the last video i'll put a link to that video up in the corner here you might remember from that last video that we have the two cameras one sitting on top of the other kind of thing to be able to get a direct comparison as to what kind of quality of uh, video shots that we're getting out of them now it has been a week i haven't gone near the cameras for the week because the bush has been pretty quiet the last little while and I didn't want to take the chance of leaving a scent or disturbing uh, anything that might be moving around the cameras. So hopefully we've got some other shots besides me on those cameras. And I am a little bit worried about the state of the A60 camera. And that has something to do with this. But we're gonna go up and have a look at them. Now the E9 is a Wi-Fi camera, so I'm gonna take my cell phone with me and we can just pull the videos off with that. The A60 is not a Wi-Fi camera, so we're going to uh, bring that back, take the card out of it and take the videos off of it that way. Now, I don't mind doing that in the majority of my cameras, all except for the one E9 are all uh, non-Wi-Fi cameras, so I have to bring them back and take the chips out. And that's fine because I like to keep an eye on the battery and that type of thing. Now the A60 does have a solar cell on it, so it's going to be interesting to see. I'm hoping that it's caught a couple of night shots because I'm really curious to see how well that solar cell has stood up for this one week. All right, I got a camera set up on the ATV Let's get mounted up and head for those cameras. All right, folks, we're not too far back there, so let's go get them. Well, the A60 is still upright. Let's go see what we got. All right, folks. So you can see the uh, orange surveyor's tape there, marking the location of our cameras. Yeah, everything's still in one piece. So before we get out in front of the cameras, I'm going to uh, start up the app and we're going to have a look and see what is on the uh, E9 uh, trail camera. This is really a very easy app. I'm in the process of connecting to the camera now. So it's uh, turned the Wi-Fi on and it's triggering the Wi-Fi in the camera. It's asking me if I want to join the network. I'm going to say join and start, so from here, the Wi-Fi seems to turn on the Bluetooth. And now I'm connected to the camera. And it's got lots of battery life. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we've got a good collection of videos. So I'm gonna select them all and download them to my cell. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. We got 28 videos. All right, while those videos are downloading, I'm just gonna put my cell phone down here and we are going to uh, disconnect the uh, A60. All right, so I've turned the A60 off. Now I'll show you the one thing I'm not crazy about uh, with the camera. So I don't particularly like the mount that came with the camera. It's just, it's not very strong. 
at all. You can see how the camera has just tipped over from me opening it. I, and I can't get it any tighter unless I put a pair of pliers on it. All right, there's the camera. And the camera is very light. So when I relocate this camera, I'm going to use the type of mount that I have really liked. They are very sturdy. They work well. That's this. Now I've gotten a few uh, similar ones from Canadian Tire, but these ones I got off Amazon. Now I'll put a uh, little clip up here about these so you can uh, have a look at them. And I would recommend these. They work really well. And they're stainless steel. So that's what I will be putting this... Oh, mosquitoes! That's what I'll be putting this camera back on when we put it back out again later today. So here's something worth mentioning about the app. Now, I, I put my cell phone down and just left it to go to download the files. There was 29 files on the camera. And after a little bit, as my phone does, it went to sleep and it lost the connection with the app. So when you're using this app, you gotta make sure your phone doesn't go to sleep on you or you'll drop the connection. All right, that's it. The only file that's now on the E9 is the one that it's capturing of me right now standing in front of it. All right, let's get everything back and uh, we'll see what we've got. Okay, folks, we are uh, back in the studio here. So what I'm going to do first is get the files off of my cell phone. Okay, now I'll have to go back in and delete these off the phone later on, or we'll end up using too much room on the cell phone. All right, so one thing that concerned me while I was looking at the uh, A60, or the uh, solar cell, actually, I did not see any kind of indicator light on the bottom. There should have been... A, uh, a red light there, at least indicating that it was charging because the sun was out, but there was nothing. So what we're going to do is plug the solar cell in and then try to turn the camera on. Okay, solar cell is in. Oh, camera's coming on. That's good. Maybe the solar cell was just fully charged. All right, good sign. We're going to turn the camera off again and then take these videos off. All right, folks. So before we actually look at the videos, there's just a, a couple of things that I wanted to mention. One is the solar panel. Now, I am really impressed with this. Now, it's only been a week, but I went out there and was, I was a little bit skeptical, but it really worked well. I brought it back thinking, well, I better check it and see if it needs to charge. It was fully charged. And as you saw, it started the camera up when I plugged it in without any issues. So, so far, I would say that this is a great little solar panel. It really worked very well. Now, the other thing that I have noticed, I've just finished going over the clips. So the other thing I've noticed about them is the E9 is a little bit slower to pick up movement than the A60. The A60 picks things up very, very quickly. So you'll see that in the clip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the A60 clip first followed by the E9 clip. And we'll just do a few of them. I don't want to bore you with a whole bunch of clips. And hopefully you will see the difference. Now I'm not sure how well that's going to come through on YouTube. So the A60 is the 4K camera. The E9 is a great camera. It really works well. And I was very impressed with it. Now the resolution that I have on, on it, I have it set for as high as it will go, which is a high definition, but it's not a 4K. But still, 
it does a really good job. And I was actually very surprised at the difference between the quality of the video from the E9 compared to the 4K camera, the A60. Now the, the E9 has got about the best high definition that I have seen in the cameras that I have had experience with. So I'm not knocking the E9 in any way. It really does do a very nice job. And I also absolutely love the uh, Wi-Fi function that this camera has. All right, so the clips are coming up next. All right, folks, so there's our clips. So comparing the two, the E9, which is shooting at a resolution of 1296, and the A60, which is shooting at 4K, I would say that the uh, A60 does give a better picture. You get a little better color, a little better clarity in the picture. I'm not sure how well that's gonna come through on YouTube, but I would definitely give the A60 a number one position between the two with the quality of the capture of the video clip because it is very good. Now, as for sensitivity, I have both of these cameras set to as sensitive as they can get. And it's kind of, it seems to be kind of back and forth. I would say that they are very close to the same the A60 might be slightly more sensitive than the E9. Now the E9 did capture that last clip where the A60 did not. Now that might have something to do with the positioning of the E9. It was set lower on the tree, so it was quite a bit closer to the ground than the A60 was. But that was I would say the only time that I have seen the uh, E9 beat out the A60 in anything. So picture quality, definitely the A60 is better from what I'm seeing here on my computer as I play them. Sensitivity, they're very, very close to being the same. The A60 might be slightly more sensitive. Ease of use, they're both really easy to use. I really like the wireless function on this camera. It works great. But I'm bringing most of my cameras home anyway, so the A60 is just coming home with the other cameras. It's very easy to just take the chip out and pull the uh, clips off of the chip, put them back in, and put the cameras back out. So for ease of use, I would say the E9 has a slight advantage over the A60 only because 
this particular E9 is the Wi-Fi version. Now, you could probably do the same thing with the A60 if you had the cellular version of it. You could just use the app and do exactly what I'm doing with the E9. But as I mentioned in the previous video, I do not have reliable cell phone service out here, which is why I don't have the cell phone version of these cameras. And the other thing, as I mentioned earlier, is the solar panel that I was using on the A60. Now that solar panel is compatible with a number of other cameras, including the E9. So if you're interested in that, you should have a look at that. So the A60 is going to go back out in the same location with the solar panel on it, and it's gonna stay out there for a month. So to choose between the two cameras, if I had to choose between the two cameras, that would be really tough, but I think I would probably go with the A60 only because I see a slightly better quality video coming off of the A60. Both cameras work really well. Both cameras have got some very good features, but being able to get that 4K video footage off of the A60 is a big plus. So if you folks are interested in looking at the Guard Pro cameras, I'm going to put a link in the description that will take you to their website, and I'm also going to include a promo code in that description, and that will give you a nice little discount off of anything that you purchase through them using that link and the promo code. So I think that's going to be it for today's video, folks. I'm going to get the chips on these cameras reformatted. We're going to get them out there, get them back in position. And probably in about two weeks time, we'll have our monthly trail camera update from all the other cameras that are out on the property. So I hope you have found the video informative, give you a little better idea of the Guard Pro cameras and what these two cameras can do compared to each other. So if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it around. And I would love to have you subscribe to the channel. That would really help. So remember to stay safe out there, be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time.